Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a new moon in Aquarius reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, this reading covers the period from January 24th when we have the new moon in Aquarius to February 24th when we have the new moon in Pisces. Um, this new moon in Aquarius is the perfect time to release and let go of attachment. The water bearer is the most detached sign of all. Um, and so it's really a good time to ask yourself if you're giving yourself the space to express the true you, your own unique self. Um, it's a sign that doesn't care much for convention, so express all of you, the weird, kinky, quirky bits and all. Harness the power of this new moon to come up with a new invention or a creative solution to a problem you might be having. It's also a great time of progress. It's a sign of progress and invention. Um, it's also a fashion forward sign, so go through your closet, throw out what no longer brings you joy, or maybe even buy something or make something that really expresses your true personality. It's also a sign that, um, you know, it's very, um, it's very humanitarian, so try to give back more than usual. It's also a social sign, so see how you're relating to bigger groups of people and check in with your friends and your family um, if you guys can. Uh, the new, the moon, new moon spread that I'm about to do for you guys is going to help you identify your intentions, show you how to cultivate and eventually manifest those intentions by the time we have this next full moon in your sign in Leo or when we have the new moon in Pisces up on the uh, February 24th. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and ask angel ancestors, your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed, and your spirit guides, what messages do you have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? While I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment, and share um, if that's something that you like to do. And ring that notification bell if you guys want to get updates when I upload anything new. All right, Leo, so let's go ahead and see what messages we've got for you. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What messages do we have for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for this new moon in Aquarius. I apologize, this is coming out a little bit late. I'm wrapping up my trip in the Caribbean, and the, my internet speed down here has been really slow. Okay, Leo, let's go ahead and see what your overall energies for this reading are. Here I've got the Four of Swords. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and the Four of Swords is all about taking a time out, taking a break. It comes after the Three of Swords, so some sort of disappointment or heartache or something that just sort of makes you really feel sad. And now it's time to take care of you. It's time to rest and it's time to prepare. This is the card of the warrior, you know, and these guys look, they're crossing a desert, you know, and you can't do it all in one day. You have to when you see shade, when, you know, you need to take advantage, build in those rest days. Don't try to do everything all at once. Build in some time to rest and heal. Underneath that, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And um, this is somebody, you know, this is somebody who doesn't feel quite good at home. Um, she can be a little bit of a lioness, you know, when, and, you know, even though she's, you know, earth energy, you know, a lioness would be Leo, but, you know, she can be somebody who gets really angry if you mess with her home or her kids or her foundation or her stability, or you could be feeling like unstable with your resources or at home, something might just be bothering you there. Yep, because the tower in reverse is showing me that you might be cleaning up uh, cleaning up the aftermath of a really big fight or a separation or the realization that you're in a relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic or a job or what have you. It could be with your higher self. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter, but it can relate to a lot of different things and that the foundation wasn't really strong enough and that you know this tower might have to come down. The Hierophant in reverse. Some of you, this is a separation. Some of you, this is a breakup. Um, for you know, the, the Hierophant is all about organizations as well. So it could be you leaving, you know, a, a spiritual group or a church. It could be you leaving your job, um, or it could be you just sort of saying, you know, uh, to hell with convention, you know, because the Hierophant is all about convention as well. You know, I'm, I have to do some things that are unconventional, but they're really they're what's they are what are best for me. 
Three of Swords, a lot of you this has to do with a relationship. There's some sort of hurt, disappointment, or third party situation. Remember, third parties don't always have to be other people. Okay. It could be, you know, it could be just somebody works too much or anything that would take away from your relationship. Okay, but for a lot of you, I do see that, like the the Hierophant in reverse and the Three of Swords, and I see that Queen of Swords and the Tower in reverse. Some sort of home situation, your your romantic relationship or your marriage is in peril or you're going through a divorce or a separation that's gonna that's gonna be sort of the main message that I'm getting from this reading um, and you know but it doesn't have to be that okay so you can apply it to your situation how it resonates but what I do have here is the Queen of Swords in reverse the Queen of Swords in reverse is um, in this is your energy so Leo you guys have to be really really careful because this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be exhibiting these qualities, okay? Um, or you could have these in your chart. But when she's in the reverse, she's really, really nasty, okay? And it looks like here, I feel like some of you guys have been scorned. I don't want this to be a reading about that. I really, really don't, Leo. But I feel like some of you guys are in a third-party situation. Or you found out that your spouse was cheating on you, um, or, you know, something, but look, she's, like, there are these lovers behind her, and she is just pissed, all right, and she's, like, she's vengeful, she's angry, she's bitter, she's closed, you know, her emotions are closed off, she's not feeling good, you know, and she's not being nice, and she's going to shoot below the belt if she can, and that's your energy, so something Leo has, like, really, really, really hurt you. And I'm sorry for that. You know, I, I wish I could read it somehow else, but like in the overall energy card, you know, it's really important that you guys get back to balance and that you guys take take a rest and kind of get away from it all because I see this like your energy is, you're like in this really negative, low vibration. This might not be a message for all of you Leos. Well, I know it's not a message for all of you. Um, and if it really doesn't resonate with you, I suggest you go ahead and check your other signs because I feel like this is a very specific message for a few of you out there. Um, if I could change it, I would, but I have I have to read what I see, okay? And if, you know, Leos, I know not all of you are going to be happy with this, so, you know, please go ahead and check out your other signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs on my channel or check out any of the other fabulous YouTube readers. I promise I won't be offended because I know this isn't a message for, for all of you, okay? But um, what's holding you guys back, this Eight of Cups? Eight of Cups is, look at how disappointment disappointed he is. It looks like he's sitting in his house after it's been destroyed. Okay, that's what I'm getting. And with that Tower card in reverse, this is really holding you back. You guys are, I feel like you guys are anchored in this negative energy that we see with this Queen of Swords energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, the Eight of Cups is the need to go it alone. It's a need to find your personal happiness, go for your healing and happiness. You need to find that Ninth Cup. Normally, the Eight of Cups is somebody walking away from something and that it was like a good thing, right? Here, everything's destroyed. He's knocked over some of these cups. He's disappointed. He's, like, angry. He doesn't know where to go. All right? And this is the energy that you guys really need to come out of. The Four of Swords is saying you need to rest. You need to physically remove yourself from a toxic situation or relationship. Okay? Or, you know, whatever. You just... Or you need to you need to be away from... Away from this. Because you can't... You can't accomplish anything while you're anchored in this negative vibration. All right, um, the intentions that you need to set, we have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is my Wounded Warrior card. Here we have Leo coming out. Um, Aries and Sag as well, and he's the Wounded Warrior, but he's somebody who has the strength and the will to go on. Okay, but this is coming up in the reverse. You know, so Spirit is saying you need to use all of your strength not for fighting, not for trying to get vengeance, not for anything negative, but that strength needs to be funneled back into yourself, Leo, and to rebuild, okay? It's all about rebuilding. Um, because when the Nine of Wands in reverse takes me to that Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands is all about movement. It's about, you know, it's all about law of attraction. It's about love, you know, and it's all about you can't control you know, where those wands of love fall, when they fall, how fast they go. So you need to really detach, right? And that's what we hear about Aquarius season is the time to detach. You need to detach from this relationship. You need to detach from the feelings, the negative vibrations that I feel like some of you feel like you want to get vengeance or you're just spiteful, you're angry, you're hurt, you're disappointed, you know, what have you. And the nine of wands is like, you know, this is like you need to detach. You've been too hurt here. 
okay that like right now like you just need to focus on that healing that personal healing and happiness all right what information do i need to help cultivate my intentions here we have the eight of wands again more leo aries sag energy but the eight of wands in the upright is a beautiful card it's all about movement it's about quick movement but when it's in the reverse it's all about stagnancy and again this is a warning from spirit like you're stuck you're stagnant we've got two eights coming out here they're about manifestation you have the ability to control where you know how you react to situations you can't control what others have done or how others react but you can control your reaction and right now spirit is saying you can't stay stuck you won't stay stuck forever okay but if you if you're really if you're vibrating in this negative energy you've got to change that all right leo and again this is not a message for all of you um but what's you know the positive energy that will emerge during this phase you know we have the ace of pentacles and the ace of pentacles is a huge blessing from the universe but spirit is saying if you're stuck if you're stuck Okay, in this disappointment, in this sadness, and wanting to get vengeance, and about making somebody's life miserable, okay, instead of just focusing on you, you can only correct your behavior, Leo, only yours, okay, and, and bring about that personal healing, and that growth, and that happiness, and you'll be able to see the blessing that you're being offered. You're also going to see the blessing that has come from this ending, all right, you're going to see the blessing that this person or this situation, this job, whatever it was, it wasn't for you. And it needed to come to an end. And why did it need to come to an end? Because there's something better out there for you. Okay, Leo, promise you, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, it doesn't feel like that right now. Okay, but take this as a good thing. Okay, take it as, you know, this is a chance to start over. This is a chance, okay, to do something that's more true to who you are. All right, additional messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yep, we've got the world card. I like that. 29 breaks down to an 11. 11s are all about balance. We might be dealing with a Libra. An 11 can break down to a 2 as well, although we're not really supposed to break down the master numbers. Um, but the 2 is all about, you know, making a decision, and it's all about balance. And if you look at this world card, you know, this person is walking on a journey on their own. Okay, it's very much eight of cups energy, but it's the completion of something. And this completion is, is a good one, even though it does not feel like it. And it's going to bring about balance. You need to integrate your, your light side as much as your shadow. And if you see the shadow side is falling on that queen of swords energy, Leo, I feel like you guys are operating more from your shadow side, from your darker side, than from the light side and spirit saying you need to balance this out. Okay, you need to balance it. You need to get out of this negative energy. Community, number seven. I love it. So this is about relying on your friends and your family. Um, also, if you don't, you know, if you don't have a lot of friends and family, because Aquarius is the perfect time to get out and be social, relate to larger groups, be funny, check in with friends and family. But also this is, you know, spirit saying your spirit guides, your angels, we're, we've all got your back. We're all going to help you through this situation, okay, no matter how dark it might seem. Victory. I love it. Two and eight adds up to another ten. Okay, this is the completion of something, but you will be successful. It might not seem like it, but this was a big win for you. Okay, I feel like it hurts. I feel like you're disappointed. I feel like, you know, you feel like it's gotten the best of you. It hasn't. All right, after all the darkness, there's light and, and spirit saying there's a big win for you guys. Okay, and then 26 hostilities yeah i mean obviously there's there's a lot of hostility in this reading i'm not surprised to see that card at all come out you know and these hostilities you know i think you you're gonna win but you need to you need to take you know you need to take you need to take initiative to get out of this energy or to get away from this situation because being you know hostilities that's negative energy and what you put out remember is what you're going to receive so if you're like you know, wishing someone dead or you're wishing somebody ill, remember that that's going to come back to you, all right? So it's better that you just focus, you know, try to be as optimistic as you can. Focus on your own self-love and your healing, all right? And that's going to bring about the changes that you need to get out of this and, to, and just to put it behind you, you know? And I'm getting also like cutting the cords for those of you that do energy work, 
Um, using selenite is a really good way to cut cords, and there's a lot of meditations that you guys can do on the internet. Okay, so just to, you know, and don't beat yourself up about it, really, Leo. You know, it takes two, you know, or, and, you know, none of us are perfect. This needed to come to an end. You're going to see, ultimately, that this is a blessing. All right, and you might not feel that right now, but Spirit's saying this is a blessing in disguise. All right, here we have adventure, 55. I love it. It's time for a new adventure. It's time. This is, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be successful. You have the world at your fingertips. You know, don't by any means think that this person or this job or this situation was the be all end all. It's not, and it didn't define you. It doesn't define you, right? New adventures are waiting for you. You define you. Nature. I love that. All right. Another 74 breaking down to an 11. So we've got a lot of cards of balance. Find balance. Get out in nature. Some of you need to go camping. Some of you, when you're feeling that frustration or that anger or what have you, you need to, you know, you need to get out, go for a walk, find that balance. Okay. Nature is going to play a really big, important part of you. Trees also, you know, trees are, you know, some believe trees are sort of the incarnate version of angels. So if you can, you know, get out and touch a tree and try to send your energy through that. All right. Especially when you're feeling, you know, like when you're feeling kind of lost or, you know, just, just to bring back the balance. Again, I'm just, I'm going to stop talking about it because it gets too weird. All right. But just bring back balance by getting out into nature. Make sure if you guys have pets. You know, they are also very good for calming and balancing. Yeah, vulnerability. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender. Because I feel like you guys have been fighting for a long time. You've been angry. You've been really, really defensive. And now is really going to be a time for you to be vulnerable. Allow yourself to be vulnerable with friends and with family. Allow yourself to feel as well like if you guys need to cry or you guys need a hug. Because I feel like you do. You know, I feel like you do. And again, friends and family are going to be really important. But also be open to that vulnerable side of yourself because you need to heal that you need to address those emotions all right everything that you're going through you need to address those so that you can heal them and that you can clear them and that's that four of swords energy too you know it's like meditating getting in touch all right and then we have corals wisdom colony delicacy fragility works that are created over great periods of time i do feel like yes this is a delicate situation um, but we do have colony so again i'm seeing like the real importance for you to be around your friends and your family i feel like this is a very fragile situation that some of you might be feeling very fragile because i feel like you're getting out of a relationship or a job or a situation that you've put in a lot of time and energy into all right, and like, but then also remember, it's time for a new adventure. This is something that really needed to come to an end. It needed to come to a close. All right, so let's go ahead. Final message for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The Web Weaver. Synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect, number four. So just take a look at that card. Yeah, so I kind of feel like, you know, I'm hearing, oh, the tangled web we weave. But remember, you guys, we are all on a path to happiness. And all of the good and all of the bad that may have happened to us, okay, or that we, we that everything that we've experienced, because remember, not everything happens to us. We are agents of change, and we make decisions that put us, you know, in our present. And, you know, we can repair the past, and we can heal the present. So instead of sending out sort of that negative Queen of Swords in reverse energy, that bitterness, some of us might be holding on to sort of operating more in our shadow side than in the light side, try to send out unconditional love and say thank you for everything everything that you've been through. This was an ending that was a much needed ending that's going to bring about lots of victory. All right, but it's time to get rid of the hostilities. It's time to have a beautiful life. It's time to bring more love and high energy, happiness, joy, abundance into your into your life, okay? And it's not going to all happen overnight, but that 4 of swords card is like if we integrate it into our daily practice, whether that's prayer, whether that's setting intentions, um or meditating or what have you to raise that vibration, then eventually you're going to see that all of this happened for a very beautiful reason. And it was all, and it's all just a beautiful lesson. Spirit is also saying paying attention to the synchronicities that, you know, that you might be seeing, um, this divine intelligence cause and effect, you know, that all of this is happening, 
you know, to put you on your path to happiness, to growth and spiritual evolution. All right, Leos, I know this isn't, an, this isn't a message that a lot of you wanted to hear, but it might be a necessary message for some of you. All right, so again, if it didn't resonate with you because I feel like it was very specific, um, please do check out your other Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs or just check out any of the amazing YouTube readers that we have on YouTube. And um, I love you guys. Thank you for all of the love and support that you guys show my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, comment, share. Um, and ring that notification bell if you guys want to get updates. Thank you for listening. I love you guys so much.